<laughs> I wonder if he has to buy those cards down there. Usually they they can be all kinds of oh, they'd be, what, what the last one was a get well card. Well, I don't know. That's it's just whatever it gets. But... This is like the third one. Yeah. Yes. He's the one that killed his family yeah. in jail. Okay. All right. We'll call the meeting order. We'll start with the pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. Good morning. Anybody have some public comments? I'm just here for the county attorney for everyone. Oh, good. Say hi. Hello to the rules. Is this stuff less than five minutes or back? Um, I feel as but I do need an executive session for non elected personnel. So we're going to need to. Um, <laughs> have one of the 835s there. <laughs> we got the 835 with Josh and our. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll see. I, that. Wait. I have a comment, a letter picture. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, this is a follow up from last week about the technology purchase for printers. Um, um, Sunny uh, said that there's no local vendors that can provide the PCs and things. He did go to Radio Shack, which is the only local vendor, um, and they couldn't. They don't sell PCs, I guess, anymore. And the specs that we need, they can't provide. Um, so he said Dell gives us the best government pricing. So he said you're welcome to call him if you want to, but that no, was... but I need to have an amount in there because I don't understand what I'm looking at there. Okay, so if I have an estimate, can I put like not to exceed twelve thousand? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, because I'm not sure. I was reading six ninety five. I'm thinking that can't be. That's right. fun. <laughs> The tech one. I think if you go to that cheap, I might want to do Which is this right now. Okay. So I'd make a motion of approved the purchase order 3749. Um, the purchase of the new PCs and monitors, Microsoft Office and Display Adapters. Not to exceed twelve thousand dollars for the treasurer's office to be paid for from the treasurer tech fund. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed same sign. Which is that sign? Yep. And then I have a second one. <clears throat> Check printer. Um, the network card has gone bad. Um, and so um it's cheaper to add one than to replace the network card. Um so I work on it on the Thursday. Um, I would make a motion with a purchase order 3748 to CDW. <clears throat> also, pay a while the treasurer's fund and the treasurer tech fund and then now 422.28 for a new check fund. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All for the same time. I mentioned various. You know, I I am, yes. <laughs> Welcome. Again. <laughs> so, Ryan, please. Is Ryan coming? Yeah, Ryan's coming. Okay. Well, Josh just called and wanted an executive session, so we're going to start that in just a second. How long does he need to take? 15 minutes, probably. Yeah, 15 minutes, probably. He's got a murder tree, then. So, it's hard to deny. Okay, you better. So, how to make a motion? We go into executive session pursuant to the attorney client privilege, exception for the plans of the exact meetings after the matters being confidential under attorney client privilege for a period of 15 minutes. I'll say coming back in here at 8.50. With uh, Caleb Kirk present, and also we're going to call in Josh Mock. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. 
I oh it looks like sorry. You get the wrong color. And if we happen to get the bills, then we'll come searching for the purchase order. <laughs>
I'm One minute. I'm
Is yours going to be quick? Five minutes. Because mm -hmm. sure, we're going to get up the court order. So I make a motion. We're going to executive session under the following exception to the Kansas Overeaters Act, pursuant to the non-elected personnel matter to discuss personnel matters related to the non-elected personnel to protect the rights and privacy of the individuals involved with the county treasurer present, also the county attorney, the county council present. For a period of five minutes, I'll say come back in here at nine or eight fifty-six. Second. All those in favor of that. Aye. Aye. One minute.
Time. Time. It's going. Yeah, they're just finishing up. Yeah, the session. Figured. <laughs> Joshua's going to be on the phone. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to go into the recess for a period of 10 minutes, 12 minutes. We'll come back to 9 10. We're going to go up to the courtroom to have the sort of end of the under county council. Oh, I will do that. I can do that right now when you're doing this. How's your
I So we're back in the open meeting. Hey, no, she's um, like, is she here? Do you think it's on her? I have not. Okay. But we have a couple of things. I wouldn't mind doing another executive session. We've got a couple of minutes, so I'll do that anyway. So I'd make a motion to go into executive session under the following exception to the Kansas Open Meetings Act pursuant to the non elected personnel matter exception to discuss personnel matters related to non elected personnel to protect the rights of privacy of individuals involved. 
with both county counselors present for a period of 15 minutes. I'll say coming back at 926. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 I'll post on time. Yes. Thank <laughs> you. Hello, how are you? Fine. Yeah, how was your New Year's? I didn't even thought. Maybe 40 years Eve for, well, I was gone Friday. Yeah. Daddy called me at midnight and he wasn't doing well, so he went to the hospital. Oh. <laughs> Like over 200. Oh my like goodness. Over 106. Oh my goodness. So he thought he was having a number of strokes. So did it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Never, never went into the stroke. I didn't even want to lie. I checked everything. He had no blockage. But um, they can tell where they said you had a heart attack. And they said, we don't know when. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he's here to this. So, oh, he's still in the hospital? Or? No, we got to bring him home the next day. So, okay. New Year's Eve, 
he came home and brought him home. That day before. Are they going to do anything about the heart? He's got to follow up with the party on this. Hopefully, he does that. He's not very good at going to the doctor. We might have to get him kicked in that direction. Yeah. <laughs> But his blood pressure numbers are better now. So. Good. But man, I was scared. Oh, I bet you. He called me at like midnight. Uh, but with the phone, I was like, oh. Yeah, that's never good. Yeah. yeah. I was like, hang up in all night. We can get in the house. And so we land, I ran back all the time. You're in some session for a little bit, so you've got a minute to catch your breath. house. Thank you. Uh, I to Chris. <laughs> no. We're fine with that. Oh, are they? Uh, they don't want to work here. 
I think so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We're using the old before. Yeah. You know, they did. Yeah. Now, they weren't really comfortable with the um, sanitation portion of um, stay away because that's set up on a totally different system than they're used to. But we actually had to have a map overlay. They came down like that and I said, This is not, we didn't install this. Uh, they weren't real sure on, you know, all the different summaries that get involved on that. So I don't know how to walk back. Our um, so we needed to so I'm like, well, I started trying to use people in here around like, I don't know, end of October, beginning of November, and then all the small ladies on the end. And it was like, oh, we're busy, we're busy, we're busy. So I was like, okay, you know what? It's okay, we do we do it. Like, the one person I want, they had no recognition, so they had to be so like, our support has, unfortunately, we didn't still need some back here. Yeah, I mean, they got their own conversation. We did that, so. But now, hopefully, in the beginning of the year, hopefully, it'd be how that slowly is. Yeah, maybe try to, they got. I guess, probably. Yeah. Yeah. One minute. Yeah, I was the one with Saturday, Sunday for years on second shift, so I was there every day. We ended up getting to the doctor's note so I could take off once a month. If I went into that doctor's note, I would have worked from, I figured, at the end of April to August, I would have had six days off. <laughs> <laughs> My first job in healthcare was a mental um, healthcare facility. I'm like, I'm all for people that are in the And I would be using many different times for many years. And then we have one teacher, and then we can do it with a scholarship. So if you tell me who you put in, and you can do it with a scholarship. Um, basically, you do 15 and whatever, like eight or whatever. 
and nation on Time, I remember saying that I had to be able to get So, you know, you're not going to go into the I'll be careful. Okay. I should. I'm going to put that door over here. Just <laughs> maybe you turn. Okay, we're back in open session. No binding action taken. David Meyer, come on. I said Kayla Meyer, I'll look for June. I thought maybe changed. I didn't know why I'm with that in the back. We just have a couple of things um, for our executive session, and I only got 10 minutes. Okay. Uh, personnel? Yes. Okay. So I make a motion we're going to the executive session and the following exception to the Kansas of Meads Act for sure. To the non elected personnel matter exception to discuss personnel matters related to non elected personnel to protect the rights and privacies of the individuals involved with the Taylor Minor Health Director, Taylor Crook, and I got to get used to that name, Kevin. Okay. Well, the name for an attorney <laughs> and non career officer. The county council is also present for a period of 10 minutes. I'll say come back here at 9 40. Second. All those in favor, aye. 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 All those in favor. I mean to text you back. <laughs> so I, I just got back last night and I was going through it. I, like, oh, I brought another copy of that petition today. I'm just gonna have it signed off. So perfect. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, I never saw Jay with that last week with that imminent domain thing. Yeah. I've got it upstairs, I can just grab it. Yeah, they were going to, um, they tried to start it for the night. They were going to close the room. I was like, you can't do that. not ready. <laughs> Mom just got a little bit of a lot of stuff. And it's a lot of stuff. And it's a lot of Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I think I think I think I think Okay, okay. Um, what else we got? Um, we need a uh, just a HVAC coach for um, the health department. So, do I need a lot of forum for the request for proposal? So, we're going to put this out for very long. So, how do we? You need something for the um, specs of what we need. Right. So if you get us what you have, we're gonna have, we'll get a sheet ready and we'll send it out next Monday. Okay. okay. And then we'll put like a three week period on it, so we'll get it back as quick as we can. And then um, our equinox so we don't drive. So um, if someone else in the county can use it, then we would be open to getting someone in the county to use it or um, whatever whatever that route is. You know, so that you know, okay. Too bad I want to talk. <laughs> I know. Okay. Yeah. Then we test the generator and make it work on the power. Okay. So they can use it, save on the computer. You got it all in that? They're going to test the uh, generator so we make it with power and all. And we'll so see if we lose. So if you lose a video feed here, I'll come back and we'll start back up. <laughs> yes, bring that. We'll get it down here and have Jeff and Bobby pick it up and then we'll get it out. You said something about that, about it? Yeah. Is there an opportunity to stop and talk about it now? On that, we'll stop and talk about it. I'd like to say, what about the. Um, that was good. Cool. Nice question. Does the. Uh, if you want to post that, I'll post it. Um, yeah, I told you. I always prefer to go to the other thing. Yeah, I always prefer to go to the other thing. So I guess we also need to post um, a position for a registered nurse with the OCH chemical department. So I would make a motion that we make the posting for a uh, registered nurse for the health department and we'll start in HR, put that out and get it on the list and get started with that. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those same time. Motion carries. And that's all I have to All right. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too.
Mr. Fine, how are you today? I'm fine. You're fine? <laughs> You uh, hide now, you know, I want to come up and see us. Or... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is one that I can hear right now. The friends who work with other several work. Yes, it's hot in there. It's filming. Okay. Um, last year, uh, when we met at that moment, it wasn't at the conference, but it was the one up in Jackson County that we went to. I we talked about that LSRP was the. Um, was this the, the, the road, 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 on road, yeah. road safety plan? Right, is what they're doing. Um, so we got in on that last year. So they're still in the process of evaluating and going over our roads and stuff. And this is just another signature of um, that we have accepted and they're moving forward. This one from the state side of it from Bill Lady. And um, it shows shows the um, state portion. The state pays nine percent, county pays ten percent. The object is fifty seven, sixty five, fifty four. Yeah, and I think we already paid for the something for the cost last year. What was their assessing like? Um, road safety plan. They go around, and um, I gave them. The miles of our road miles that we had blackout versus gravel. Uh, what they do is evaluate it, they go through the ADOT, they pull crash records and other information and compile. So it's not the condition of the roads, it's the where are your dangerous areas. Yeah, yeah. What they're what they're doing is like it's an evaluation of your local roads. Right. They got to pay out though to get the money to fix it. Yeah, yeah. And then what they do is say, hey, if you send us this money, this county can do this um, to this road, whether it be road, um, some of it's striping. Uh, it can go all the way down to signage, right. something simple. Um, but that plan allows you to free up that funding from us. And we've already paid a big share of that. Other than yes, that yeah, we've right. We, uh, I think it was like 35 or so. Uh, 35, mm -hmm. I think that's what we did last year. Oh, okay. two, so. Any other questions on this paper? No. Nope. Okay. Is that anything that they need to look at? They might have been there to be the They're so expensive. Oh. <laughs> oh. So we looked at a truck last week. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the, the numbers are quite a bit different from one that the last time I dealt with buying a truck. You know, it's in the of the year, so. No, it, it's clear back in the back. So with the one that tipped over, what's, how's that one? Um, we held it off because it was going to have to be towed around to the dipper. Holy oh, smokes. Yeah. Yeah, because you brand new was one. The spreader, wow. That's one. That's why. And yeah. the way we had bad luck with our tests. What's that? The way we had bad luck with our tests. <laughs> yeah. And, right. and I think the last time I seen any pricing on one, it was around the 265 range. So this is what we've been at. Yeah. Since then. Right. They can't stay there. We're going to have to come down eventually. How many companies? Can they guarantee that even? It's supposed to stay. There because they do a five hundred allowance for that number to be right. But yeah, I asked. I was like, oh, so how many have you called up and said, hey, good news, the truck went down. Yeah, you signed up. Yeah, I don't think that's enough. No. <laughs> So people who don't know what we're recommending. It's, 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 well, what I've wondered about, I mean, if 
I set it up on if you did it on a, if you did it too on like a four year and spread that whether you're doing a little bit. Yeah, I still don't change if they've gone double on the right so really before 150. Um yeah, I think after the discounts, I think that's it was around 465, and then with our government discount, it takes it down to that 317. 408 was the price, and then with our government discount, it came down to 317. But before they were 140, 150? Um, two, 200,000. 200, no, yeah. that is a heavier truck than, than the lower price ones. Um, now, I don't remember what they were for the camera. So what's up with the use trucks? Use trucks? There's um, yeah. a lot right now. Yeah. There's there's not a lot right now that are set up um, where you don't have to do something. Right. How many different companies are there that can build these trucks? I have another company that's supposed to come in next week. So this was just kind of early in there. Right. I just wanted to show you guys the numbers lower at right and a couple of those you don't want to we do. yeah don't want to have to. well and, and, and I got a message the other day that they had a uh a used like seven thousand mile with the drop axle truck. Now that would have to be totally replumbed. Right. So you're adding another thirty thousand to it. Yeah. Not getting the full warranty. Right. So, because it's considered a used the warranty is ain't worth anything anyway. Mm -hmm. But on the side of the years, so for, uh, yeah. 30 years, right, so there's my question. When it's sitting on the side, how much of the warranty is there for? Or would they pay for it? They wouldn't yeah. have. No. Exactly. No. So I mean the warranty is kind of a yeah. It just kind of gets you if you yeah. have any kind of that <laughs> yeah. issue. Well, right. That first. I mean, most of the stuff we have is going to go to our insurance company because it's a bit of a crash. <laughs> yep. So we had some warning on our Peter Bills over at Franklin County, and that was some of the first units that came back, and that saved us labor plus the parts around 2000 per truck. Yeah. Um, where those dumpster units did go bad on there and right. found out they did a recall on them. But see, even if you're doing a recall, that that falls under another thing. Because once they did a few of them under warning that they figured out they had a major problem. Right. That, yeah. Then it kicked back into that recall area. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, the price that's a scary number to look at for around 17 grand. Yeah. For one job. <laughs> Well, I think they've kind of standardized the emission so you know, back in 2006 or seven when they was experimenting. Mm -hmm. Now they pretty much figured out this is what we're doing. They seem to run a little better. Yeah. So well, yeah, it was quite a bit, quite a shock. Yeah. Useful scenes. I'd say I have grand equipment coming in. Um, grand truck. They kind of do beds and stuff for caterpillar maintainer beds okay and they do like the cat service what about uh baby back off the state whether it's just not heavy enough uh i don't know i reach out to somebody it and didn't work very good the last time at these kind of prices i believe i should be looking at every option that we have yeah yeah <laughs> yep. okay if we need three trucks i need three trucks too but so that, would place two, place. that would give us for the the Kenworth for about 2017. Those were the ones that were sent in the lighter spring. And about once a year we're replacing the springs on those. Just so is Kenny always bought brand new trucks. No, 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 we got the, the ones that we just paid off, I believe, were used trucks. The 17s. Yeah, the yeah. Um, no, those were new. Um, the Shawnee County one that's up there, the red one, right there. Yeah, uh, that's the one that's been in the program since January. I think the and uh, and then the white freight liner that was wrecked this summer. Um, that one was the used approach. Right. I thought this one was just over. 
I'm not a fair runner. No, that's a whole Mac one. So none of these are going to set the hands in there. There, the, the one that rolled over was the 2011. And luckily, nobody's gotten hurt in that area. Yeah. yeah. No. So far, we're getting on that. You don't get hurt in the snow pile. Where are they? Really? They don't. Somebody I just seen. I mean, uh, I mean, you know, uh, Jeremy, Jeremy Renman needs his chance. Left it out of the same. I don't know where he went. My son got a bone as well. Second time he's won. Yeah, yeah, he came right back that last time. I was like, he called me back up. He's like, that was not what I expected us to come back in. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was that was the correct thing. But, right, right, right. Yeah, everything in this is pretty right. standard. And you've looked at the audit requirements. I mean, the county may have to help compile some information. There's an indemnification provision that's pretty standard. I can't imagine that really. Yeah, I, I kind of sit about a preliminary with the mapping system. That's fine. Yeah, like, and I said, just get back a hold of me and come up with anything that you need. Okay, and then we can finish that out. So, and the county's only responsible for 10 percent in this yeah. case, and for 90. So, yeah, so I make a motion to approve the local road safety plan between the county and the city of Kansas. Second, all those in favor say aye. Aye, all those who sign. That was wrong. Yes, it does. That is basically all I have. Uh, we did get the one for us back from the lost top communication of the submission. So it's back in there because we were back with three of Someone or don't Yes. So the last one we did the whole storm with two products. What about the pickup? What's that? What about the pickup? Um, we're gonna get it in. I was holding for the end of the year stuff. So I'll get a hold of the He was he was the lowest. He was I think he might have been within a hundred dollars or so of Plant Moyer, but it's a little more so that gives it to the yeah, we're seeing that. Yeah. So, I can kind of keep it low for this much as possible. And while you're here, we might just do this. We need to put over this uh, last time, but Commissioner Bailey wasn't here. So this is the verified petition for eminent domain. In case you have any questions, uh, Commissioner Cooper and Driver look at this. Um, I fixed your name. So here's a new, new uh, version of this. Uh, that that uh, rogue R didn't make it in this one, so we can just. And there's uh, two signatures here, so we signed the petition as well as a verification on the behalf. So you need each other. Do we need to make a motion to approve this and then sign it? I think it was made last, and so they already signed, signed a copy of it, but uh, it wasn't fully executed in this one. Just wrapped in. Then he need to get that in. I know I'll take it in the pilot uh in court here this week. Oh okay. Get them in. okay. All right. Do they when you follow up the then they gotta make a hearing don't they to yeah first we'll have to serve the landowners and then they'll have a chance to respond. We so can you move. Prepare to uh, excellent, thank you. And uh we can move for the court to have a hearing on the minute domain portion. Uh, okay. it'll probably take at least the other parties, the landowners, will have 21 days to respond to the petition once we get them served. And so we'll have to either have the sheriff serve it or we can have a private process that the server just go out and can give them notice of the lawsuit. Okay. All right. Any heads up when they might be starting on those? Uh, yeah. Today is the first month on starting uh, on those oh, are on one point there. Yeah. They wanted to start that one off the night. But I told them we're still we haven't got that far yet. So. 
So you could start it once you file in the domain. Um, it has to be. It has to go through the court first. Right. Yeah. It has to go through the court first for the judge to say it applies. Okay. Yeah. For in the domain. Right. We can't do, we can't do lines or anything. Okay. So I told Wildcat, and I'm like, I, I gotta wait. So they're gonna be looking for so Yeah. Yeah. That okay. means because that water line is driving away. Okay. And yeah. we'll try and bifurcate it to have the board. I mean, really imminent domain. The imminent domain procedure act is to determine the, the cost that the county has to pay for the land. And so our intent is to bifurcate and have the court say, yeah, eminent domain can be used and let them go forward. Okay. And then the appraisal process and cost estimation will okay. take so, a lot later. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Once I get a call from Brian said the court says it applies, right? I can get a hold of the water district and have them get that water line away. So, okay. Um, sometime this week, uh, Creek is supposed to start the dirt work for next week on that first bridge up there by Wildcat. Wildcat is seven thousand on the track and the Creek with construction. We're okay. going to dirt work on both projects. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, so we do have a local local person work on it. I ought to get it in the paper if they're going to start working on it. You know, that, on that, by the street way. So I told them, I was like, well, I was like, what was it three weeks ago? Um, AT and T just gave us that permanent information. Put the phone line to be new. That's that rated. Yeah. So and they had that stuff since September. Yeah. Oh, we know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So the whole process has been kind of this. Yeah. Just a mess. So, yeah. yeah. I understand. It's, <laughs> it's fun when you're dealing with phone companies for me. Uh, at least AT and T keeps the same name. Centralized, really terrible. Yeah, right. Speed of weather and of the farm Okay. Yeah. Well, happy New Year. Yeah. yeah. Happy New Year. Thank you. So I'll um, if anything, it probably won't be next week. It'll probably take a couple weeks, and I'll see what green and get some numbers. I won't compare the two different methods. Uh, okay. So, let's see where I want to try to get it. Because um, those were pretty heavy heavy trucks, too. That's, yeah, that is compared to what they bought the last time. That is a severe duty truck compared to the Kenworth Sport and the other one. Mm -hmm. um, so, that reflects a little bit of the price. Too. Yeah. But yeah, you know, something that's not working at its max or rating and the horsepower for all day long. Mm -hmm. uh, something that's working in that lower range of that um, can get more years out of it. More years without spending right. that money. So we'll see where we can get something else in there that's equal to that. See where it falls. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Is it Sheriff Sam Holloway? No, he's probably with him immediately. If the lady doesn't show, he wasn't going to come back yet. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank so I'd make a motion of an executive session following the, under the following exception to the Kansas Open Meetings Act, the sanction of non elected personnel matter. Exception to discuss personnel matters related to non elected personnel to protect the rights and privacies of other than individuals involved with Caitlin Minor, Health Director, Stephanie Burdett, HR, and our two county counselors. Present for a period of five minutes. I'll say coming back to this room at 10 05. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Oh, not from today. I have to make one. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Yeah. 
you said your time. Yeah, you haven't thought about that. We keep these talking. Okay. Mm -hmm. but that's a goal. Keep the one there. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, I thought what I'm going to do that. <laughs> No, that's okay. That's okay. I just once we get them, I'll send them, I'll send them out to everybody, and I'll put some of those up. I do you know you want to do that. Yes, I am. All right, so it's fair. Yeah. Okay. 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 We can do 10 and send. Yeah, and it's on the inch on that. It's not uh, publicly there. Right. I don't know if it's still here. Yeah.
Uh, we got everybody here now. All right, I would make a motion. Yes, under forty. I'm sorry. Yes, here. Yeah. Um, it's it'd be an employee, unelected. I make a motion to go into executive session under following exception to the Kansas Open Act, the strength of a non-elected personnel matter, exception to discuss personal matter related to non-elected personnel to protect the rights and privacy of the individuals involved with Stephanie Burdett's HR president, the Chief County Council president, Ron Beats, uh, County Clerk president for a period of. We'll start with 13 minutes, so we'll say coming back to permanent point. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those say aye. Motion to Second. 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 Second.
Yeah. Oh, are they coming out to extend it? Yeah. I think they're coming. I think You want to come out and make a motion real quick? Yeah. For the benefit of our viewing audience, okay. not here. Yeah. So I'm going to go to extend the executive session of a quarter of a month. So it's going to be brought. Second. All those in favor of the Aye. All those signs on. Motion carries. Aye. The but I know the national so.
And now the meeting.
So you you changing your you're going back in. Where are you going? Where? Uh, 
Right. Okay. Give me your name, send me an email, and I'll get you in the So I've made a motion to go on to executive session. I'm the following exception to the cancel exact percent of the model personal matter. Exception to discuss personal matters under the non elected person not to protect the rights of privacy with individuals involved with the two county councilors and the commissioners for a period of 10 months. And you could probably be the attorney client for the legislature. Second, I will do attorney client for the legislature. Attorney client, you're doing 1052 to 11 and two with the commissioners and the two county councilors. Second.
One minute. Time. <laughs> So you guys can work on that for us. Yeah. <laughs> so no binding action taken. No, the sheriff never showed up. Huh? No, um, <laughs> and neither did the lady. So I believe that he might have had some conversations with her about it. Okay. Do you? Um, I did. Um, here is the, um, and I made some problems with this. Um, Are you back to see us again? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can wait. No. Nope, nope. Okay. This is from Sunny for the um, getting a server so that the CIP software can go out to all of the um, departments that need to have it. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so option one is with buying a new server, option two is using an in-house full female server. Um, so, and then the, at the bottom is just kind of an estimate of his time with the other text time for, right? And this is to do what again? So that the outlying offices can have access to CIC. So like the bridge and... can have access to CIC and the health department can have access to CIC. So right now they have no access to it. Right, correct. General transportation. Right. All of those. Okay. Health department. Anybody that's off site. Right. right. Um, okay. So if you want to look at it, if you have questions, we can always have Sunny come in and explain it. Um, I think that might be helpful to me. Okay. I'll see if he can. I guess you, Sunny's not showing up in the next quarter. Right. <laughs> you have enough for information to make any decisions. Oh, yeah. Well. 
Yes, it comes down to how, how often would they need to have access to what would they use it? A daily thing or weekly or monthly or? Well, there's a lot of features on CIC. And as we, as more people learn about it and are trained on it, but first it's about the budget side of it, but then the other side is the receding side. So all those departments that do anything with receding, when that money comes in, it gets entered in the program. When they come do their deposits, they would just be running, you know, right. on that, and then that would um, confirm their deposits. So there's there's multiple things in CIC we're not using right now that would be really good for tracking of the expenditures, receiving, budgeting, all of it. So when you say receiving, because I'm going to need some help how do they do it now? Self or bring a deposit down here? So like when the health department brings their deposit down, they simply bring some form of paper with it mm -hmm. that shows like when we do the deposit for the transfer station, we say how, you know, like here's the amount of checks, here's the amount of cash, here's the total amount of the deposit, we list the checks on it, kind of like you would a deposit book at the bank. So with the, we would have to have some training for them because it's not going to magically do that by itself. If they have it on the floor, right, and they don't know that it's going to do the same thing we got. Correct. Am I right? Is that right? I mean, it's not like you manually deposit money through this account. You know, no, you can enter in. And I, you can enter in, like if I go to the health department and I get a shot and I give them $10, then they can enter it in right there, give me a receipt, and then that also gets the paper they're going to bring over to the treasurer's office when they deposit that money. Right. So yeah. I think on the receiving side, it would if Christine, she would be one that would be able to explain that and answer the questions on that. I know when we did that CIP training, I did it, I did online and I watched some of the webinars and I caught some of it, but I don't use the program. But it it sounded like it'd be really good for us. I know for Christine, she said she would really like to see that added where the receiving side gets implemented in the departments. But she would be the one that would need to explain that. So Road and Bridge, correct me if I'm wrong, they have their own account. They're in their own fund, but they're still but so they still got the root. Right. So this would pick all that up yes. and immediate. I mean, it's still all put the information in there correctly unless somebody does it right there. Right. There's somebody who doesn't want They'll it. be keying it in there instead right. of like making right. it. Okay. I am the angel. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that I can be cool. Are you still alive? Yeah. 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 We're asking questions about the remote servers. Oh. Is when if the health department brings in money and it post immediately, but it won't post immediately unless they do whatever they need to do to make it do that, correct? I was trying to explain a little bit about the receiving side of what's available on CIC, but I don't use those features. They found down there with a technical explanation. So, <laughs> so if, tell me what we would use the remote access for, and where would this be? Health department? Health department, up road bridge. The senior center the sheriff's office because they collect funds that they key into a spreadsheet and then have to bring to us, and instead they can key it right into CIC too, which is what Heather was probably explaining. And each of the departments could do that depending on what their services are and what their fees are. Right, and that's the receiving side. Then you have the expenditure, and they can do their budgeting, budgeting and stuff. Yeah, there's so basically. They would say customers are part of them and they pay $25 to the health department. The health department would enter it in CIC, it would produce a receipt for the customer. And then at the end of their business day, they would have a batch of transactions already in the system. And then they would say, okay, uh, we need $250 today. Here's my batch that matches that. And that's going to bring it to the treasurer. So then we would say, yes, you brought us 250 That matches what you entered. We would approve that. Batch and then it would post in CIC to their funds. So it still takes the people in these in each of these departments to make sure they use the system to make sure that so they need trained on how to do all this. To make Absolutely, sure. but it would take away from them being on one type of computer system doing receipts 
landfill, road and bridge, they all do receipts for customers and they're all in different systems now. And it would get everybody on the same thing. So customers in the county, no matter where they went, they could have the same type of receipt from the county. Too. So all the computers that they have in their existing places, they're all capable of using what all this is? No. I do not about that. I do. Yeah. Yeah. He, he would have to get them. That he wouldn't need any additional software. It, it's the VPN from their current system through that server that would get them CIC. And that's why there's 15 of them? Well, well both of these said two, I think, in each department, two logons, because it's a different logon. Right. So, like, your department head would have one, and then maybe your, I'll just say, clerk. So, I might make make well, I might be getting this one to have a little bit. Right. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out how this will work, like, because I think it's always a good idea if you have people making a copyright then. Because then we don't have right, to have in the past where we're like, finding checks and obviously the little handwritten book or yeah. card I mean, copy receipts or we right. have I don't know what the other ones are on, but they're on different systems right now. So what's the training that's going to be involved in all these other departments that haven't had it? I mean, if we put this in, you can't just stop start using it if you don't no, have to. No, well, we have to set it up so that they can use it, first of all, which is kind of a yeah. um, access thing and then training them it's pretty straightforward if they're only doing it for their department if i mean i would say we would put a plan together that would phase it um essentially it would get all the financial transactions on the receiving side into one system so the cic on our system or is it cloud-based it's on a hard we actually have a hard yes. software. They are working on going to a cloud based solution, but right now we are a hard mainframe okay. system. Yeah. Which is why we need that server. So if this was set up, we would need this. But can you put a component on them and then they bring you a zip drive, plug it in with the bag of money and say, here, here's all they would have to if they have that. Well, I know they wouldn't have to pay ten thousand dollars, but you know. Can we have that software on their systems? They have so they can do everything that it's supposed to do. They have to hardwired to our mainframe and they can't because they're able to talk to each other. Okay. Yeah. That's what I want to know. You can't put it, they can't use that software and put it on a, and then zip drive it and bring it down here and hand it to you. Some department, okay. like the transfer station, would probably have to continue to use some of what they're using because it works with the scale. Right. Right. So the sheriff will have to do some other stuff. But on the sheriff side, all I want is when we give them the personal property warnings, they are literally handwriting in carbon copy receipt books where they can just key it right in there. And hopefully it would avoid any discrepancies between the customer saying, I already picked that at the sheriff's office. We'd be able to see it right away. Okay. So that was another big thing to talk to Chris. All right. So where are we at? Here in beautiful London, Kansas, or where we're occupying. I know we have several problems with the media comes sometimes with our internet quit working. Does that mean all those departments, if the internet's not working here, the computer system, can they, they can't get into them? They would not be able to get in it. But guess what? Even when we've gone down, we haven't been able to get into it. But my point is, is if that happens, can they still function somehow? <laughs> The only thing that they would have access to would be the CIC to them. You know? I mean, but you've got to be able to get two CIC. You know, because they're short. I think that's the only thing. You have to go back. You just have to go back to the hand yeah, receipt, receipt and just put it in there when it does come back up, which is what we've had to do. Right. I mean, we've got technology is great, but we always have to have a black exactly. computer. So when do they expect us to go to iCloud? Two years. Two years. Yeah, so in two years, years we won't get that. Um, not that was the was that the accounting suite or was that the tax suite? I don't know, but it's it's a way down. Yeah, so it's only one of their modules. We just learned, at least I did. There's a lot of features we're not using in our program right now. Absolutely, that's available. Yeah, yeah. So, so whoever we need, whether it's Sunny or CIC or somebody, to come and explain a lot more of this. Maybe I'll explain a lot more. This be a lot easier to understand. 
We're still in terms to of the technology needed to do it or how we would use the technology on how we would use it and so forth so and to justify we're going to spend ten thousand dollars um i think it's probably a collaborative effort with sunny and cip because they they can help explain the number <laughs> of hours of labor time savings that it would create which would help offset that cost um, and that part i like Except that I hear, then I'll hear the other side going, you know, doing this, it creates more hours because now we've got to do it twice, which I don't think that's the case. And that's why I'm saying that knowledge will take care of this. But until everybody understands it, that's what I want to make. Even I don't understand it at this point. I mean, I can get an idea of what it's about. Yeah. But like I, I'm a little different because I hate putting stuff on a computer. I still do everything manual. I still do it by hand. I'm a little different. I just go out of the car business. I know it all right there. But so $2 million a year, I keep track of on paper. I don't like computer systems. I don't trust them for long. And that's probably because I don't understand them. So maybe the more I understand I get, you know, I don't understand more of this. And that's why I keep asking because this is still going to be as many times as I see it in my office, how many times I lose the internet throughout the course of the day. That means all these people are going to lose contact with the courthouse several times. The wind goes too hard, the line gets wet, we lose the media. Us as well. Exactly. I mean, you know what I'm talking about. So, when an office loses contact, at what point do they finally get disturbed and get angry because you can't connect? So, why don't? Why am I doing this? Let's just do it the old way and be done. And then I'll just go in once a week or once every two weeks or whatever and update it. Um, because we should be putting policies in place on how it should be handled. So this is all going to go in connection with the financial policy that's getting put together. And that's, and I have no problem looking at this. I just think that we want to wait until we get everything else in place so we can make sure it's all compatible with each other. Does that make sense? So what's compatible? Well, the other side of this is all the budget stuff we're doing too. When we talked, remember last yeah. spring when we talked about budget prep, we were going to use it for last budget cycle, and then it got put off to this year. This is also for the budget prep that we're going to be doing this year, that budget tool. Yeah, I mean, I think, I don't know where we are with the policies and procedures, but I would hope that we write them with this in mind and that it would go with me. Okay. Do you have more stuff? I have one in the after the meeting. I need to. After the meeting? Yeah, are you guys done about my job? Not quite. Uh, what's that? Step well, one. I can, I can do it's not what you said. I'm going to be about like payroll and bills and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I am. I, I mean, I guess I can ask that. I uh, have two contacts in regards to the senior center and transportation um, that I've reached out to for. One was the checks blue purple wave whatever those were um they're asking for a contact and then um east central kansas coordinated transit council was not aware that tammy going over there and they would like a contact as well and and the reason i'm here is that um they were i got a phone call from the senior center um evidently the vans are going somewhere in Somewhere else to get their oil changed instead of Bernays. And Bernays would come and pick the vehicles up and bring them back. With this other company, we had to send a driver in their personal car to pick up the van. And they were asking if they could just start using Bernays for this, the oil change. And I said, I'm not in, I'm not in contact with that. I'm bringing that to commission. So, so you're, who wants to know who to contact? Well, those companies? Yes, because they submit payments when there's a whole other separate computation about what that. What was the second East, East Central Kansas? What? East Central Kansas Coordinated Transit Council. Did we hear from So they submit reimbursements to us, I'm assuming, to help offset the cost of our transportation. I don't that, yeah, that would be the transportation for her. Is that correct? Because East Central Kansas Area Agency on Aging right. is. Completely different. Well, that's, that's what I was trying to figure out. Is it's, it's, not, it's not related with that. But the checks they pay go to Osage County Council on Aging, not to Osage County Senior Center. Oh, so that would be that would be that. Who is the agent? Who gets that money? Who is the Council on Aging? County Council over here, isn't it? I mean, we. 
certainly got checks made to Osage County Council on Aging. Right. This is this is a bank account that does not get managed through my office. That's the same. Okay, right. And they're getting money from the East Area Transit. Yes. I know nothing about that. And so is that, that can't be the but that's not showing up on the, the the senior center council. That money ain't showing up unless it's not very much. So you're on that board. I know that's what it's that's okay. 14,000, 16,000, 19,000. Is that laser transport cent? I was presented this by the bank because there's an issue with these two checks. But this is not a bank account with the county overseas. Okay. I don't know what's going on. Well, because it's not coming in with their senior center council. That kind of my problem. Those two checks you're looking at have um, were presented and deposited in October. They are the exact same checks presented again in December. And our bank, Citizens Bank, caught them. And I've contacted them and they have not reissued any payments. Who are the checks from? That East, East Central, Central Kansas, Kansas Coordinated Transit uh, Council. I'm looking to see who the signatures are. Have you contacted I've them? I've spoken to Yvonne. Yeah. Or anybody. I've asked her to confirm that those checks originally cleared their bank account in October. So and where then is that I don't know. Can we get a CAM okay. check? If this is the reimbursements through the KDOT grant 5311, yeah. they should not be made out to Osage Council on Aging and they should not be going in a non county bank account. I don't know if that's what they're associated with. The districts buy transportation and something. So, do we have any idea where this money's at right now? Well, those two checks got rejected by our bank. I've asked. Her. Rejected by our bank? Yes, by citizens. Because Why? they are the exact same checks that we presented to them in October that have already cleared our bank. How did we get two checks? I mean, because that are, you're talking about um so the money's the purple wave. That, purple wave is different. They did come back and say that they right. to reissue that check. Well, so that was okay. That's our very Physical checks, exactly the same. Already been presented to the bank, already cleared the bank, presented again in December for deposit. I don't know where that money's going. You don't have a record in your office that this money ever Not for in. the Council on Aging. But you have a record of that was deposit, now it's coming in. Yes, in October. So the money's in here somewhere, we just don't know where it went. And they have not reissued anything, and they wouldn't have reissued the same exact check number, or the same exact check date. Right. Who is Yvonne Gardner? She is the contact at East Central that I spoke to. Would you, I, when you call her, would you ask her if this is in regards to the KDOT grant? So, 311. Okay, KDOT 311. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, my yeah, part of me coming in here is the legal side of this. Can you do one other thing? Can you ask them for a printout for the last two years of re monthly reimbursements that we should have been getting? Because I've asked her to confirm that these have cleared their bank. Not these two, but the ones in October. Here's what I'm starting to wonder. Go ahead. I'm going to pay us a good time. Those reimbursement checks are for the grant 5311. Okay. And they should be coming to us and being deposited. I think they go in the general. Yeah, they would go in general. So that's when this is the yeah, general application. I don't. I don't know if in the past they've been made out to Osage County Senior on Aging. I think that's how it works. I don't know if there's problems with that. Years ago, they they used, the, before we had general public transportation, they used Osage County Council on Aging. And that's what we called them even in book work. Right. Years ago. Yes. So you're saying these checks are copies, or they redid the check? The issuer did not redo the check. So how were there two physical checks? How's there two checks? That'd be my question. Probably were misplaced on her desk. They, they were not reissued. Nope. 
she did not know, she had no record of her being reissuing those two checks. The only reissue check was one that she uh, was told was lost at the bank in January that they reissued in March. And I've asked her to confirm with their bank if both of those checks have cleared or just the reissue check. Well, this is definitely a reimbursement. So I think it's coming from Grant because it says right about September 23rd. is we've already received those two same exact checks before in October. And they cashed and they cashed. Cash. Our bank didn't return them. So I'm asking her to verify her bank records that they saw them there in October. But our bank, yes, but our bank stopped this second exact copy of a check. I guess I'm trying to figure out why would our bank stop a payment that's not coming. Because it's an exactly duplicate of what they right. already processed. I think that was pretty fun. I mean, I pay the same car payment every month. But is it it's the same it's check it's number, the same check date, and the okay. same dollar amount? So that's a plan. It's a zero on care. <laughs> that would be different. That's why I keep it. Yeah. But is it a zero off check or is it a check check? She's asked me to look at the color of the check. I have to call the bank and ask because their checks are. Outside. What account was it trying to be deposited into? Um, it wasn't a county bank account. I have to say the one on aging because ours would be a county bank. Account. Ours would be a county bank. Well, there wouldn't be any reason for the K dot reimbursement check to go into a non county bank account. No, but the bank saw the check twice. It was deposited into our bank. This has not. They didn't process the. <laughs> because they matched up to another check that was already through. Right. Can you get the back of these checks? I can ask him. Okay. If this is a non county bank account, then why did they give you this information? They know Tammy's no longer in the county, so they don't know who to contact. Same as these people are asking who do we contact now. Right. I think this is a lot like the purple way check where it didn't get deposited. Right. No, but this one even thing. gets a little crazier because it's like where would have got it deposited? Right. Huh? The purple, you brought the purple way. I mean, are you saying basically okay. these checks have been cashed somewhere else? It Physically, two checks exactly the same were cashed in October. And were they deposited in our county yes. accounts? Yes. Now we have physically, there is now two other checks that the bank has said, whoa, the date, the check number, and the amount are exactly the same. Why are you trying to resubmit these? But they're trying to be submitted to a bank account that's not a county account. I need to confirm with citizens that that is my understanding. And I contacted the issuer and they have not been notified that there was an issue. They were not notified to resubmit, to reissue them. And she has not reissued them. So you're been, saying and these checks. And we would never reissue the same check number. Nobody does that. Right. So you said these checks aren't going into the county. They're going into somebody else's check. I don't know. At Citizen Statement? At Citizen Statement. You might be wanting to contact the sheriff's office and find out what's going on about them do what they need mm -hmm. because that sounds like somebody's trying to. Put a check in the account that's not well, they're also uh, duplicating checks, yeah, right. That's on that company's account. What would you do, Ryan? Well, yeah, I mean, I'd like to see the, the back of the check, right? See if they're endorsed, we'll right? See if endorse them, and then so they're paid to the order of Osage County account on aging, but that's not the account that. They tried to put it into. Well, we don't have, we just have an Osage County account. Mm -hmm. My understanding is the Council on Aging is a board right. that has a separate bank account. So these yes. funds generally just go into the general fund. Right. Yes. Okay. But this check was not put into the general fund. But the Council so on Aging. Not gone anywhere. Yeah, but yeah. The, the attempt. I guess was not to put these checks into the general fund. It's some some other some some citizens brought them back to us because they didn't know who to get a bank. Yeah, I mean, if, if uh, yeah, I'd like to know which. I'd like to see the the backs of the check and see mm -hmm. who they were trying to what account they were trying to put it into, and then yeah, possibly contact law enforcement because of <laughs> the exact same checks and they're 
going into non parent yeah, accounts the, is a problem. The uh, Gibbon is very valid mm -hmm. right now. So I would imagine I'm back. Oh, I'm sure yeah. Yeah. You, if you can call Yvonne back, those checks from here on out need to be made out to Osage County. Okay. For Osage County General Public Transportation, do you think? Yeah, you'd have to, it's got to match up to the. It, it can't be made out to the council because the council is a separate board, separate okay. entity. They're not part of the county. Okay. So Actually, is, I, I, is there a board sort of word about is that's what I said. I would think there was a separate reason for doing that because otherwise it came to the county and then it got to make sense, but that shouldn't be the right name on the check. It should, it should be a general public transportation or something. Reimbursement. But, but that is that what the control is. The council on aging, I don't know what their bank account shows. They don't show money like that. Because you're on Yeah. I would know a check like that came out. <laughs> okay. I will I may have heard of all that. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'll 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 the name. <laughs> As for the last two years of the monthly reimbursements that have been sent to us. Okay. And I guess we'll need to check to make sure that we'll verify that we do not verify the same check to Tammy Mayor. So we okay. need to change the address so send the check out send it right here. Correct. Yeah. So is it coming to me, the clerk, or do you want like uh where does it need to wrap the first? It really needs to go to public transportation. Well, they probably have some. I mean, I would assume that they're writing a grant for somebody, right? They would need to get that check and know that they got it and then bring it into the treasurer's office. Right. But it should be made out to general public transportation. Right. So right. I wonder if years ago, you know, like I said, right. the names have changed over the years. And I wonder if that's something that's never gotten changed. When you get the two years, you'll definitely see that, right? Right. Or if it was changed like so if we have the check sent to the treasurer's department by right, you, then you can contact General Transportation Commander and see if they follow. Yes. Which they get a receipt when we receive it in the right. Yeah. Normally they bring it to us. It just stops. I yeah. need to check it so one of those had to have no longer issue. So, right. Yeah. So that's all like that. Because the money needs to flow back in. So can it be here where it says Osage County Council on Aging? Could it say Osage County Public Transportation? And then down here, it could be instead of Tammy's name, it could be the Osage County Treasurer. So that way and then the address so here. it'll it'll yeah. come to the yeah. treasurer, but it'll be made out to the Right, and then they'll know we got a reimbursement to, I don't know, so that may be what. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah. And then I'll ask for the backs. <laughs> she also wants me to find out what color the checks are. And I said, I've looked at thousands of checks that I've Yeah. Right. You just made my day a yeah. little longer. <laughs> yeah. Just so you know. It's, yeah, yeah, I quit right. drinking once. I might have to start yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, okay. Wow. Are you done with all the great news? I'll probably have more my notes. You I think. So <laughs> have a happy new year. Yeah. <laughs> Are you part of me? Oh, I was just thinking back on this. If we need to have Sunny come in here to explain the two options, uh, I will reach out to him, but also I think um, Debbie, because she's, yeah, she can speak to it too. From, yeah, I mean, that's the receiving side. The first part is getting all the budget prep stuff that we're using this year, right? So that's why I think Sunny can walk through the two different options with us. Yeah, I don't know what what he provided for that, but the only reason we need that is because we're on a hard server here in the courthouse. It's not nothing is cloud based yet, okay. and remoting it is does not work. I'm real worried about cloud based. <laughs> so it's all wrong. So do you want me to see the down next Monday? Yeah. yeah, yeah, because but. This will have to get implemented. How do you get it back? Really, to be implemented mm -hmm. pretty soon because then, 
that budget prep training, they recommend doing it just like a couple months before the budget season starts. Right. So, like in April. Yeah. I think a year you don't want to do that. You need to work every month. Yes. But they're already in the class. Yeah. Oh, you want me to see that's um, my UG web. Yeah. Yeah. More stuff wrong with them? Yes. Um, <laughs> Happy on Berkeley Township. Resignation of a board member and um, recommendation of a new board member. Oh, that's a good one. So, from Berkeley Township, this letter is regarding the acceptance of Dennis Brock resignation from Berkeley Township Board and adding a uh, Valerie Pitts to replace his position as treasurer. And sign Russell Baldwin, Dennis Brock, and Rodney Gilchrist. Mm -hmm. So we just make a motion to accept them in the form. Right. So I make a motion to accept the resignation of Dennis Brock and approve the appointment of Valerie Pitts. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Okay. Then um, the bill. We'll get to that in a second. Okay. Has everybody had a chance to go through the amendments? There were two no. different dates. I got three different ones, actually. Well, you've got two meetings on one day and two on one day. Oh, that's not correct. Okay. Sunny is available next week, but you can do the 16th. Would that be possible? Okay. I'll we'll say that one more time. Sonny can't do next Monday, but he can do the 16th. That's fine. Right. Okay. Uh, on the first page, most of you made on first floor 37 point in Amazon and not uh, I'm not sure what that amount should be. It shows two million seven hundred. Oh, okay. But twenty seven eighty one ninety nine. Um, I'll have to check it and correct it. That's on the from Gary McCurdy. Okay. From the EMG PG grant. Right? Right. I think it was 278199. I think it was just a zero added in there. Yeah. I just have to be typing. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 On that December 30th, there uh -huh. <laughs> would be another zero on the 300,000. The comma is in the right place. I just must have been trouble. Well, yeah. Okay. 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 And if you have another executive session or if you're reviewing the bill, that can go up and correct those really quickly. You have. Is this correct with your email, Tom? 
And then I can go in there and give you access and I can show you where on the website you guys can get into the information. Or just give me a little piece of paper. Yeah, and yeah, we'll, we'll put it on the same. And it's on the, if you go to the, the Osage County website, if you go to the very, very bottom of the page, it says employee access or whatever. And that's, you click that and it will have you register. And I'll look at this. I'll go in there. And I can give you an access. Anybody when they what well, anybody that was those already? Yeah, on. and yeah, and the, that the only thing that's on that is the website to a different page and, oh, and, and stuff in there. It's, but it's 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 what the employees have access to all of the information. Of the summer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. We have two corrections, and I'm not sure if we make those for well, unless there was something I'll be found in. Which one I told you about? Okay. They all have the current. So I would make a motion to approve. Actually, yeah, uh, on December 30th, I should say 300000 Yeah, I like said a time sheet. <laughs> so I will correct those. No, so I make a motion to approve the minutes of December 27, 2022. And December 22nd, 2022 special meeting and the meetings of December 30th, 2022. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All right. All right. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you. Stephanie, you had a question. Um, Who should people contact for the senior center? If they have a question, especially the, the employees that are working there, or they're going to be regarding uh, vehicle issue or whatever. So employee questions, I would probably say you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The other ones, that, I mean. If they have to be voted on by the commission, but I mean, who do you want to contact to discuss that? Have you done that in the past, Rhonda? What do you guys, I mean, how do we uh, yeah, contact me as far as that goes if it's, if it's one of those questions? On the, the, the bus and the van. Those just come over to the commission. Okay, but who comes over? Is this that you can't use it to a new batch? They can just call and say they have a question. And you right. Yeah, I mean, if you know, they, they've already asked them a question. So the answer was, let them go ahead and have it done there local. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what the setup was before, but yeah, it seems to at this point in time, if the buses need change right now, we don't have people running around. So we're going to have to just get down and go and get done. Is Bernays the one that comes and picks them up? Yeah, he is. He's about to make the money on that. Yeah, definitely didn't. Right. All right. So, I mean, when the, there will be a new director in place at some point, I mean, yeah. that is, and they'll be able to set that up and have it like, I don't know yeah. what the setup was, but what they're saying right now is that it has to be done and it has to be done when they get done. Right. Well, right. So you just have to call you? Uh, that's fine. <laughs> Until further notice. No, <laughs> yeah. Next week, then, well, next week there will be a new one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe. No, I guarantee you there will be a new contact. Okay, well, I know I've asked you this a hundred times, but I see that name back on here again, right at the beginning. And we've talked about that several times and not paying that. And I've also looked and I said, second, that one again. Yes, but he's called and he keeps adding money on there, and we're going to take it. Uh, it should come out of there. It was supposed to come out of the the, the attorney. Yes. Yeah. So we can uh, uh, it. Yeah. Which one is that? The one that I have on top of there. Yeah. Well, when you do that, it actually went through. You know, because you guys were holding that other check, for, so it needs to come off twice because yeah, it's somewhere like back in August or something. Well, we're just not leaving it on that check. It was issued. Yeah, yeah. And it just needs to come off the commission right. spent because otherwise, right. well, it will. The day of the first. That's right. So you're going to change that to that one, right? Yes, okay. we'll change what came out of it. 
And the first check that was issued, I was telling Heather that there's been a stop payment put on it. Uh, yeah. Is it? Did it need to be a stop payment or just no? Because the check there's no, we can't, there's no check. He says he never got the check. We don't have the check. We have to stop paying on the check because oh, I thought we never made. No, there was a check, but well, I stapled it to something and handed it back to him and said we want to send it. I thought you said well, we put it in the safe. We put it in the, we put it in the safe, but it's I mean it's not there. I don't know if it was stapled to something. Maybe that something got moved, but I went through that door twice taking everything out. Okay. So we stopped paying them. I got far away now. I got to look over the bills. I'm looking at everybody. Next week, we have a new swearing in of Les Holm. Right. And the judge will be here at 8 30 to do that. Yeah, okay. yeah. Day next week. Uh, I would like to thank Fred uh, for the eight years that he's given Osage County, and I don't even want to think about how many other things he's done over the years in Osage County. And Jackie, uh, she's a pretty tough old gal. She's yeah, tough with you, so she's very tall. Man. She probably will be uh, less tolerable to you if you're spending time with her. So you better find some part time jobs or <laughs> gigs to do all the other stuff. <laughs> but on behalf of the citizens of Osage County, thank you for your eight years of service. Uh, I will come here next week and watch. Let's get some more. We expect right to see you once again. He's, he's a good young guy. You know, you know, okay. <laughs> well, Jackie, we said hi. Oh, thank you. We won't do no big deal. We didn't yeah. get you a box of cookie or beans. There's another box oh, of cookies. <laughs> <laughs> your presence, so. No. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's been We'll get a piece of law and then she can take a piece of password. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. We should have gave another judge to you. So, yeah, it's a very interesting time. I will say, yeah, it's a bad day. Eight years, right? Yeah. Yeah. Also next week, I can assure you, without a shadow of doubt, there will be a new Osage County chair. I will not be serving as chairman again. <laughs> so next week we will have a new chairman installed. Um, I appreciate the two years I've had the honor of doing this, but that's enough. Um, <laughs> I will stay as a commissioner, but Chairmanship, I think it's time that somebody else does it. Mm -hmm. Pat, we're going to have a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, thank you for your time. Well, thank you. Anybody else have anything on? Uh, uh, do you want to make a big long speech? No, no, I'm not going to make a big speech. I'm not going to disappear completely. So, still be active on a few things. Good. And so. I'll still be around to you. I'll be able to listen to what I'm talking well, about. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And I wanted to formally introduce Katie to up here. Again. Again. I've <laughs> only had to be here all, all day, but uh, <laughs> former, former former county counselor here. What what were your years of service? Hmm. What were they? Well, uh, well, you was here for my first couple of years. Like so. 2011? Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, that's not right, Martha? No, no, I'm sure probably is, but you know, time goes really fast for you. Those first couple of years, it would have been 13, 13, 14. Yeah, 2000. You must have been here until 16, 2011, 2016. 16, yeah. Um, well, Caleb. It is 2013 to 16. Okay. Well, he's with our our firm now, so he may, since he's local, he may tag team it a little bit. But yeah. uh, uh, during legislative session, as we've discussed, sometimes uh, Josh gets pulled away, so I'm I'm taking on more. But since he's local, if you need someone to run over here for a county commission meeting, I'm going to at least make sure you all knew him. And he's uh, which a name like that is just I, know. Good. <laughs> I, I looked in the car dresses for years with a guy named Cheatham. Yeah, <laughs> a perfect name for a car guy. Yeah. Yeah. Kirk. 
Put it down for an attorney. He's got a little better workspace though now. <laughs> Compared to that little old. Oh, the yeah, I had that little folding paper. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's not all folded there. Well, I'll bring it back to my station. Yeah, Kenneth did show up first, and he gave the comfy chair to Ryan. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I mean, that's a kind of fitting, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, we're excited to have him, and I think he'll come back and some good work, so. All right, well, welcome aboard, mm -hmm. I think. <laughs> you guys are going to figure out a way to split that cup. I think we just got sent to... Uh, <laughs> I just flipped it. We'll cut it in the third. <laughs> yeah. All right, with that, I would make a motion we pay the bills in the amount of $50,712.92. And payroll in the amount of six hundred and two thousand thirty dollars and four cents. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 I'll put cents on. <laughs> Motion carries. Oh yeah, I need to need to count here on that. Mm -hmm. And probably that one too. Yeah, just we'll keep signing. Fred, you have anything else? No, not really. Wrong. No, were you going to see if Christine heard anything before you adjourned, or were you just going to go up? Were you going to see if she heard anything the bank before you adjourned? Yeah, and Stephanie was going to say something. So, you need to go see if Stephanie was there? Yeah. Okay. We gotta stop yeah, off with yeah. Heather's got a seven. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, the good thing now is I quit giving out your business cards. <laughs> <laughs> I wondered it was getting all over. I, I didn't know that was gonna be from the county. <laughs> 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 she already asked you what she needed to ask you. So I guess you want I to just tell Christine to get all of the Okay, so yeah. you know. Okay. Yeah, we're happy to talk to you. I mean, unless she needs us or something. I don't think she does, though. Uh, oh, the senior center, we need to. Have had the janitor service that does the relation stuff here. They need to start doing that again over there. If that got terminated for some reason. And, uh, so, oh, you're talking about the layout ones. Was she not using somebody over there? Well, she was going to do it herself or whatever, and that didn't happen. Oh, yeah, they do the mops and the, and the throw rugs and stuff, you know, to clean that up. So. And, yeah. Okay. So if we don't have anything else, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Uh, so move. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those say aye. We are adjourned. Now what are you going to do? <laughs> I don't know yet. I guess you're saying.